Welcome to Sports Night. Today we are going to shed some spotlight onto the Carmel High School cross country teams. Both the men's and women's teams capped off their seasons this weekend. What ended on December 12th began for most of these athletes in early June. The cross country runner tends to latch onto the slogan that champions are made in the off season, and this holds very true for the Greyhounds. The summers where both the men's and women's teams set the foundation for a great season. This season was especially historic for the Hounds. The men's team finished the regular season with five wins and two runner-up finishes. The men's team notably won the MIC championship and placed second at the prestigious and highly competitive Trinity Invitational. The women's team finished the regular season with seven wins and only one runner-up. The women notably won the MIC championship and the Trinity Invitational. The teams then entered the tournament season. Both teams dominated their sectional races with senior Ben Veach winning on the boys' side and setting a new school record. Both teams won the sectional and thus moved on to the next round. The following weekend at the regional meet, the women's team continued their success again dominating the regional race, being led by junior center Lionizer who won the race. The men stumbled a little bit as they arrested star Ben Veach and the Hounds fell second to the surging Fishers Tigers. However, the following weekend at the semi-state, both teams would hit their stride and win the semi-state, punching their ticket to the state championship with Ben Veach and Sarah Liners winning the races. On October 31, 2015, on Halloween, no one would soon forget the Greyhounds made history as being the first team in Indiana to achieve the Grand Slam. Both the boys and girls teams became state champions. For the boys, this was the third title in the last four years. For the girls, this added one more to the prestigious streak of five consecutive state titles. The men's team consisting of freshmen Calvin Bates and Thomas Castano, sophomores Trey Harris and Ben Miller, juniors Evan Bouillet and Drew Otson, were led by senior Ben Veach, who placed first with a time of 14.59.8. The women's team consisting of Maddie Dalton, Megan Kress, Stacey Morozov, Rachel Anderson, Christina Geisler, and Daphne Boom were led by Sarah Lineiser, who placed first with a time of 17.30.8. With both teams winning the individual title and team title, the Grand Slam was achieved. However, for these teams, the line did not end there. It was time for the teams to show what they had at the national level. Nike Cross Midwest was the next on the schedule. Both teams competed against the best teams from the Midwest. Both teams fell short of the automatic bid of first or second at the regional meet. The boys placed sixth, unfortunately ending their season. Ben Veach qualified to the national meet as an individual, however. The girls team fell short as well, placing fourth as a team, but that put them at the place for a large bid. After two weeks of training and waiting, the girls team won after the decision from a panel to earn the right to go to the Nike National Meet. At the National Meet, Ben Veach finished a very impressive second place with a time of 15.04.8. The women proved that they deserved to be at the National Meet, finished as a teammate, and being led by Sarah Lineiser, who placed seventh with a time of 17.20. After the Nike National Meet standouts, Ben Veach and Sarah Lineiser went on to compete at the Foot Locker Midwest Regional, both placing top 10 and advancing to Foot Locker Nationals in San Diego, California. We had a chance to sit down with Ben Veach before his race. Um, I'm ready to race. Uh, I've been in some close races before. I know the race on Saturday is going to be another close one. Um, I've gotten valuable learning experience being beat. Uh, I've, for the most part, all year I've been winning all my races, and to go up against good competition in the Midwest region, um, it was a good learning experience, and I carry that forward to NXN. Um, had a good, good run there, and now I'm looking to uh, improve upon that finish. So you've had three big weekends in a row, including this one coming up. How do you come back down mentally and physically from those races and get back up now to f mm -hmm. have your final race of the year? Yeah. Um, so after the, we kind of trained through the regional, um, the Foot Locker Regional. I knew I trusted my training enough. I was fit enough to qualify. Um, and then for Nike, uh, we backed off a little bit and did a couple cleanup workouts um, and got ready for that uh, and I performed well there and then after that after that great performance I just did a heat check said okay this I still got one more race left um, I'm still I, my season's not done I have big goals to I want to accomplish and I just kind of said all right save the celebration for later um, got back recovered um, did a long run Tuesday gonna do a little cleanup workout today and gonna feel great for Saturday nice so Going into the race on Saturday, how are you going to improve that 14th place from last year? Do you know in your mind the spot that, you know, you kind of maybe fell apart a little bit or where you know you're going to attack this year? Yeah, last year um, I it was I did the double uh, Nike and Foot Locker, and I didn't realize how much of a strain that was in my body. This year, that was a great learning experience last year. This year, um, I've adapted a lot better. Uh, we've postponed some of our early season training to, for later. Um, I feel a lot better this year. Um, I feel ready. Um, I'm not tired like I was last year going into this race, so I feel really good. Nice. Well, 
I think you said it. Yeah. One last question. When you think about Foot Locker and, you know, the amazingness that comes out mm -hmm. of this every year, yeah. why, why do you want to race this race? And are you pretty pumped you have this on your resume? Yeah. Um, just we, there's the national champions, Olympians that have ran in this race, and it's got a lot of history. And to win it, um, a anybody who's won this race has gone on to do, to do big, th big things in the next stage, whether that's college or professional running. Um, so even people who don't win, um, there's a, the the competition level at this uh, race is unbelievable, um, and I'm just excited to race and throw my hat in the ring for the win. At Foot Locker National, Sarah Lines are placed eighth, and Ben Veach finished his, finished his impressive season with a third place finish. Both teams endured large amounts of challenges and came out on top, having a very successful season. We cannot wait to see what these teams do in the coming track season and next cross season. Good night and God bless.